The kidnapping, rape, and murder of Charlotte County mom Denise Amber Lee set in motion a series of events that would bring national attention here to the Sun Coast. It also led to requests to interview the state trooper who arrested the killer, Michael King. Eddie Pope says he declined those requests then, but now he's breaking his silence only to SNN local news. Reporter Grant Boxleitner has more. Former state trooper Eddie Pope is the man who apprehended Michael King, the man who was convicted and is now on death row for the murder of Denise Amber Lee. He's never talked to any media publicly until now, and he's agreed to talk exclusively to SNN about that night. Former state trooper Eddie Pope is the law enforcement officer who first apprehended Michael King, the man convicted of abducting, raping, and killing Denise Amber Lee. Pope says he's never publicly shared details from that night in January 2008 outside of court proceedings. Now that the civil case involving Lee is settled, he's telling his story exclusively to SNN. He was a little apprehensive at first, showing his hands um, at one point in time. Um, he got a little resistant, got him back to the vehicle. Did you say anything? Um, you know, he, there was a lot of things that were uttered during the tourist at a time. Pope says he first spotted King's green Camaro when a pair of headlights appeared while he was at I-75 in Toledo Blade Boulevard in Northport. As I was uh, moving around traffic, I had that sensation in my mouth that, um, you know, that, that I felt nauseous. Um, what most officers talk about, the hair standing up in the back of your neck. Pope saw the license tag and knew he was trailing the right car. He made the traffic stop near mile marker 177, getting his first look at the driver, Michael King. He ordered him out of the vehicle, but King didn't respond at first. At that point in time, I, I realized that he was manipula manipulating the door to try to find me through his rearview mirror. And uh, I gave him another order to get out of the vehicle. He continued to manipulate the door. At this time, I felt that um, there possibly some sort of firearm or, or something that he was obviously trying to do. I had not had the opportunity to view the inside of the vehicle, so at this point in time, I still didn't know whether or not Denise was in the vehicle. When she wasn't in the car, Pope says he confronted King about Lee. I had uh, questioned again uh, Mr. King about um, where she was, where her bouts were, and uh, he refused to comply or answer. Inside the car, Pope and other officers found plenty of evidence that later helped to convict King for Lee's murder. We did locate a piece of paper on the floorboard of the vehicle, had a footprint. There was a, um, a gas can on the passenger seat. In the rear of the vehicle, there was a blanket a ring, um, partially a spade that appeared to have been used. Lee's body was later discovered in a shallow grave off Plantation Boulevard in Northport. Pope, meanwhile, is a candidate for Charlotte County Sheriff and has been criticized by some who suggest he's using the Lee case as a political tool. I had been falsely accused of talking about the uh, Denise Amber Lee case during the course of this campaign, and uh, it's untrue. And Pope and three other candidates are running for the Charlotte County Sheriff. The election is next month. Reporting in Charlotte County, Grant Boxleitner, SNN Local News. Michael King is on death row. Last week, the family of Denise Lee and the Charlotte County Sheriff's Office reached a settlement, but the Sheriff's Office has not disclosed how much the county will pay. SNN Local News has made a public request for the exact amount. You'll want to keep it here on SNN Local News for updates to the story.